to the part where we get to put on our new heads. But to get there, first we have to put in 24 studs. This is a 24 stud block as opposed to a 21 stud block. And the quickest and easiest way that you can tell rather than counting the studs is these four here. As they come down, a 24 stud will Y, make a inverted Y, and a 21 stud will be one, two, three. And we have a 24 stud. So I'm gonna get busy on installing those. We're gonna be using new studs. New studs are the studs have a coarse thread and a fine thread. Coarse thread goes into the block. Fine thread is for torquing down the head to the block. And these are long enough to account for the increased depth of the aluminum heads. Each one of these I'm going to treat them as if they are going into the block. Either way, anti-seize is a great idea to put on these block threads uh, because some of them go into the water jacket and you don't want them to rust to the block. Some of them don't, but either way, it's easier to get out if you don't have anti-seize. So each one's going to get anti-seize and it's going to get threaded in using the two nut method. Here we go. One, 22, 23, 24. All right, 24 studs installed. Now let's clean up that extra anti-seize and do the other side, but I'm not gonna put you through that. Here's a lesson that I'll share with you. These holes here are just the right size to fit the nuts. And they fall right in and disappear. And of course, in the package that I have, there's exactly 48 nuts. I needed to get it back. So I spun this thing around trying to locate it, get it to come back out its hole, but no. So what I ended up having to do was take the water pump off because there's a very big, large access hole right here. Rotate it around, oh, and it fell right out. 
Now I need to put a new gasket on, which luckily the water pumps themselves came with gaskets, but also flathead gasket set that I purchased a while ago also has some in there. So I have a replacement that I can put on there. So I'll be doing that and then it'll be time to get the heads on. But good news, all 48 studs are on, in place, and tightened. Hallelujah. All right, I have the boys back with me. They're out of their camp school for the day and they're gonna help me put the heads on. So you see here we have one of our head gaskets, which we have sprayed yeah. copper with a spray a gasket, copper spray a gasket. Just another piece of hair, you wanna get that off. And we need to wait for it to hang there just three minutes, about five minutes before it gets, uh, starts getting tacky and sticky. And then we'll put it onto the head itself, well onto the block, and then the head on top of that, and we'll thread it down. All right, this is starting to feel tacky. So we're gonna take it I'm off going the hook. I'm going to take it. I'm going to sit over. Raleigh, can you take the hook out of here, please? Uh, sure. I'm going to. We're gonna set it over all the studs. What's mm, missing, Dad? So we're missing. We're not missing. Ooh, it's sticky. It is sticky. Wow, it's dead tool. You are right. Should we get it all the way? Should we get all the way onto? There we go. And what do Thanks. I do with this? Mm -hmm. What do I do with this? Go set it down over there. Okay, and now it goes on. Tap, 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 tap. Follow these instructions. Okay, so we're putting the washers on. Next Ooh, will be a... the bolt, the nuts. Nuts! Haha. <laughs> Can I just have one more? Okay. Yeah. Let's see how many Warren has. He's got um, he's got enough. Another one. Two, two. Oh. Hey, you can each thread on two nuts. This one? 
Just do one at a time. According to the instructions, we are supposed to start from one side and go over. We're only going up to 45 foot pounds because these are aluminum heads. So we're going to start at 30 and go up to 45. So we're way across.
Okay, that's the first head installed, torqued up to 45 foot-pounds. Now, don't let me forget, once I get this thing running, I'm supposed to run it dry with no water in it, heat it up until it's warm to the touch. Cut the engine off, let it cool down, and re-torque them. Now I'm gonna do the second. All right, that is both heads installed and torqued. Whew, <laughs> beginning to look like an engine. Hey, now we can actually get some compression on here. We can get a compression tester and see what it's gonna be. Hopefully greater than six to one, which is what it originally came with. I'm hoping for like an eight to one. That would be great. Well, until we get that set of uh, bolts for the clutch, I think we're kind of at a standstill. The next thing is to start doing all of the intake manifold assembly, but I'm not gonna put the intake manifold on just yet because the easiest way to move this thing is with that lifting assembly and that goes on here. And also it's an aluminum manifold and I don't really want my entire engine hanging from aluminum intake manifold. So I'm going to assemble that separately then once this gets installed or into either an engine stand or on the frame when it comes back, then I'll put that intake manifold on, get it set up, and at that point we'll be able to test fire it. Oh, that'll be exciting. All right. Well, I think that's going to be it for this episode. We'll start off the next one hopefully with some progress back here. Get the bottom end to put on, meaning the oil pan. And then we uh, will move forward with the intake manifold. So until then, have a great day and take care.